is September 4th, 2021. And this is saying, pledge. The Prime Minister pledged that there would be no increase in VAT. The Prime Minister, here, the Prime Minister pledged that there will be, oh, it's God speaking to the Prime Minister, only God alone could have done this. This is the hand of God. The Prime Minister pledged there would be no increase in VAT. See it there? See it there? He pledged that there'll be no increase in VAT. When you make a pledge, God say your word, you, you must either be yes or you must be no. Anything else in between, he said, is from the evil one. Anything else is from the evil one. The prime minister, the prime minister pledged that there would be no increase in VAT. This only could be the hand of God. This is the hand of God tell, talking to y'all people. Talking to y'all people. This, this is the hand of God talking, not me. The hand of Almighty God. How does get inside the dictionary? Google search dictionary. The Prime Minister pledged that there would be no increase in that. Almighty God, that's the hand of God, people. It's firm would be the first to tell you that hard work pays off. Are you challenged in any way with feeding these goats? Yes, ma'am, very challenged. Simply because um, we don't have the land in order to graze these animals. These animals should be grazing at least four to six hours every day, okay? A subsidized food like this, this is my special blend. I mix this together uh, just so they can have all the nutrients that they really need. You can see the corn, and this here is the what you call sweet feed. It's like a horse feed. So all of these are supplements. The corn is just roughage, and then you have the sweet feed, which is high in fiber, and then you got alfalfa, okay? You got soybean, and other products in here, and it's mostly all natural. So what would be the cost? You have to buy this thing? Well, actually, it runs me into about anywhere between three to five hundred dollars a week to feed my animals. That's a lot. That's not labor. That's just feed. And then I, the hay that you see I was feeding them earlier, bales of hay is 40 to $50 a bale. Okay. The okay. government subsidizes you as well? Uh, no, not with the hay. Only with, with these feeds. You know what I mean? And it's, it's really gone up tremendously. Within the past 10 years, they have raised the price of this feed three times. Twice with an increase on the feed and the third time with the VAT. So, so how could the government assist them? Well, first, they need to take the bar off because farmers shouldn't have to pay VAT. Okay, because we here trying to feed ourselves, feed our families, and feed the nation. Okay? The farmers shouldn't have to pay no taxes because we're the first line of defense, you know. Like I say, if you don't eat healthy, you ain't gonna be healthy. So, if we feeding the nation, you understand me, and feeding our families and ourselves, this is what we need to do. We need to be the first ones to get the best in order for you to get the best. Because if we don't get the best, you don't get the best. You'll get what's left. Okay, and right now, what we need is a lot of grazing land and the, the, the prices of these feeds to go down tremendously and to take the bottle off of everything for the farmers. In fact, farmers should have free license to operate. However, for some time now, Cates is hard pressed to achieving his goal in spite of all the work he's putting in day to six months for golden sheep and pigs is eight to 12 weeks. To be a certain pound, right? Yeah, so they have to be a, a certain height and a certain pound. Well, mostly, well, a, a baby goat star. Now, this is the National Report, August 16, 2021. I have no idea, but I just do as I am told. I came across this and, and I realized this date, say August 16, 2021. So I was not. On today's day, I was watching something that was also something tell me to continue to watch it until you'll see what I'm telling you, of, um, why I'm telling you to watch it. And this happens in everything, everything. God will send something and I will, as I watch it, I will know what he's speaking to me. Now, here it is again. God bring up. 
the vach, the vach. Again, this man say the vach is what cause. Could if that vach was not there, it would be a great thing for him and his business. Now I'm gonna go outside, and I'm gonna see what the father says about this. This this is, has nothing to do with me. All of this, I went to do something. Else. Let me go outside. So the father tell us to look up. So I come outside to see what the heavens is saying. Father say, look up, look up. Now I'm in the front of the yard and I'll also go and do a shoot from the back of the yard. I heard about the Bahamas. I heard about, uh, I read something that I, I want my friend to read. I was so moved. This here that you have, I'm jealous. God says, don't be jealous. I'm jealous. So I'm asking forgiveness. And I believe this is in your program, maybe towards the end. My the preamble of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Whereas 481 years ago, the rediscovery of this family of islands, rocks, and keys heralded the rebirth of the new world. And whereas the people of this family of islands, recognizing that the preservation of their freedom will be guaranteed by a national commitment to self-discipline, industry, loyalty, unity, and an abiding respect for Christian values and the rule of law. Now know ye therefore, we the inheritors of and successors to this family of islands, recognizing the supremacy of God and believing in the fundamental rights and freedoms of the individual, do hereby proclaim in solemn praise the establishment of a free and democratic sovereign nation founded on spiritual values and in which no man, woman, or child shall ever be slave or bondsman to anyone or their labor exploited or their lives frustrated by deprivation and do hereby provide by these articles for the indivisible unity and creation under God of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. something that I, I want my friend to read. I was so moved. Uh, this here that you have, I'm jealous. God says, don't be jealous. I'm jealous. So I'm asking forgiveness. And I believe this is in your program, maybe towards the end. But my friend Lowell, would you read this? The Thank preamble you. of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Whereas 481 years ago, the rediscovery of this family of islands, rocks, and keys heralded the rebirth of the new world. And whereas the people of this family of islands, recognizing that the preservation of their freedom will be guaranteed by a national commitment to self-discipline, industry, loyalty, unity, and an abiding respect for Christian values and the rule of law. Now know ye therefore, we the inheritors of and successors to this family of islands, recognizing the supremacy of God and believing in the fundamental rights and freedoms of the individual, do hereby proclaim in solemn praise the establishment of a free and democratic sovereign nation founded on spiritual values and in which no man, woman, or child shall ever be slave or bondsman to anyone or their labor exploited or their lives frustrated by deprivation and do hereby provide by these articles for the indivisible unity and creation under God of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Wow, that is a powerful message. I am so jealous that my nation, the United States, is not having this meeting this morning. Now, People, all of this stuff God lining up. This has nothing to do with me. I'm just delivering and doing as I'm told.
Now, Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 tells us that Jesus did not come to put away or destroy. Yes. Almighty God is going to send His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to consummate, to consummate the Constitution of the Bahamas, the preamble. He is going to come and consummate this preamble. He's going to honor the preamble and the constitution of the Bahamas. There's no place else in the world that has built God into their constitution. We are a blessed nation, a blessed people, who the Lord God, the true and living God is our God. I have no idea of what is going to happen between now and the 16th of September. None. Absolutely none. But I know Almighty God is going to show His hand. The world will see. The world will see. <laughs> the world will see. He will honor the Bahamas. And the rest of the world will follow. God says he loved those who love him. He loved those who love him and worship him. And he will reward those who do love him. He love him. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we are not of say a shame of the only begotten son. We're not ashamed. Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. It's about a future. Look outside the gate, outside my where they put this thing by my thing. That is on the side of the line that's coming from the sky. Look at that. Use any match for this line. Use any match for this line with coming down.
Look all the birds. Look all the birds. They've been coming for a couple of days now. Weeks. Look at there. Look at there. Father, let the words in my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. One side dark, one side light. The light is coming to extinguish the darkness.